now to a story from WDSU investigates more than four years after a student at a high school in St. Bernard Parish says that she was sexually assaulted by a staffer there. The case has yet to go to trial. In addition to that, the person accused and formally charged is still collecting a paycheck from the school system. And now state lawmakers want to know why. WDSU anchor Travers Mackle has our latest investigation delayed justice. At Shelmet High School, the largest school in St. Bernard Parish, a former student says she was sexually abused on this campus. In 2018, guidance counselor Tommy Powell III was arrested and accused of molestation of a juvenile. The former student, 15 at the time, claims Powell touched her inappropriately and tried to kiss her. We talked to her and we're choosing not to identify her. Everybody was just like treating me differently and I could tell. Paul was arrested in October 2018 and formally indicted by a grand jury in June of 2019. But about five years after the alleged incident happened, this case is still pending. It's never gone to trial. Records obtained by WDSU Investigates show that even after the courts resumed after the COVID-19 shutdown of all jury trials, it's been delay after delay after delay. It's hard, honestly, not knowing like what's going on, where he's at, like all of that for so long. You no, know, it's it's tough. Very tough. That's a really long time for a case to be pending in criminal court. Um, we don't expect cases to take four or more years to go from an arraignment to the trial. Uh, we expect that, you know, justice will be served both for the defendant's sake and for the victim's sake in cases like this, that it shouldn't take this long. That's not how the system is designed. Laura Canazero Rodriguez is a former prosecutor in New Orleans who tried dozens of sex crimes cases. If a case is delayed, you're more likely to have witnesses who are no longer interested in coming forward. It's just not a fresh event in their minds anymore. They're not as wound up about it as they were at the onset of the incident. Court records show the case is now set for a trial in April and the DA's office says it will go on that date. Powell's defense lawyer, Mike Goddard, tells WDSU investigates his client is innocent and expects the charges to be dropped before trial or that his client be found not guilty. But that's not all that we've uncovered. The school system in St. Bernard Parish says that Powell is what's on administrative leave with pay, meaning he's not working in any classroom yet he is still collecting a paycheck and has been for about four and a half years. That's crazy. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy that you would have somebody on administrative leave, paid administrative leave for four years and not look to rectify that in a much shorter time period. New Orleans based state representative Stephanie Hilferty is on the Louisiana legislature's House Education Committee. She says a guilty plea would trigger an automatic termination of any school employee in Louisiana. It's important to remember Powell has been indicted, not convicted, since the case hasn't gone to trial. But to leave him on paid leave has this lawmaker looking for answers. What I, I have trouble understanding is how for four years, somebody who's been accused of um, assault and molestation, I think molestation, mm -hmm. would be allowed to stay on, the, on paid leave. We took that question straight to the school system and longtime superintendent Doris Voce. Despite our request, her spokesperson said Ms. Voce is declining an on-camera interview. In a written statement, the school system says the school district conducted an internal investigation and found no evidence the allegation had occurred. At that time, he was placed on administrative leave pending the outcome of the legal proceedings. Our legal counsel has advised us that all investigations are included within Powell's personnel file and cannot be shared. I feel like there should be more outrage. More people should know about it. He definitely should not still be getting paid while all this is going on. The school system says there is no limit on how long someone can remain on paid leave. According to official records, Powell's yearly salary as a counselor is just over $66,000 a year. Doing the math, that shows Powell has taken home over $265,000 while on leave. It's heartbreaking, it really is. I had no idea. The school system confirms Powell's license as a counselor has been temporarily suspended while the criminal case wraps up. The counselor says he did nothing wrong, 
but the former student disagrees. It's a five-year quest for answers, which could soon be decided inside this courthouse. For WDSU Investigates, I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News. Well, we also reached out to the Board of Elementary and Secondary Education, which oversees public education in our state. And the board member who represents St. Bernard Parish, Sandy Holloway, also declined to comment on this matter. Interesting there. If convicted of indecent behavior with a juvenile, the maximum penalty is seven years in jail. I'll tell you from this.